Well, welcome everyone to our online program on addiction and recovery from the Sunshine Coast Health Center up here in Powell River, BC. And our topic is the dark side of life, mainly because addiction is associated with the dark side. Just look at any Hollywood movie. As soon as they uh, show the, uh, the drug addict, it's usually dark and it's a it's an expression of uh, that side of us that goes against healthy mindedness and good order. You know, it's immoral and people are doing criminal things. And the dark side, as we, as most people think of it, it's that part of us that nice people don't like to talk about in public, right? It's that, you know, thoughts of revenge, rage, jealousy, crime, lust, all of these kinds of things that we prefer to sort of put in the closet and pretend they aren't there. And one of the reasons, apart from it's being immoral and not very healthy, that, that, uh, that we condemn the dark side is because if you think about it, if you live in the dark side of life, that nothing really gets accomplished. Addiction is like this, right? If you think of people in active addiction, you know, for all of the money, all of the effort, all of the creativity they expend uh, getting the drugs and using them uh, pretty much every day, like, what gets accomplished? Like, no one ever got an award from the local mayor for putting in all of this energy into uh, becoming an addict. Right? So this is uh, one of the great condemnations of it. Versus a, a life of healthy mindedness and good order, you know, things are getting done, you know, we're going to work, we're accomplishing tasks. But in the dark side, none of that happens. A very famous philosopher by the name of Friedrich Nietzsche said, it's just like a cycle. Things just keep going round and round and round. Similar to someone suffering from addiction. They get their drugs through all this creativity and spending all this money. But it doesn't really matter because they got to do the exact same thing tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. It just goes round and round and round. So just thought we'd uh, uh, spend some time trying to get a handle on what, what this dark side is. And I don't know if you've uh, noticed it, but there's uh, an awful lot of blogs and articles coming out. Now they're recommending we actually embrace the dark side, not not pretend it doesn't exist. So that's kind of, and there's some research coming out suggesting maybe you know, there's a real health benefit of it. Right? But what all the research tells us is that each of us has this dark side. It's not something that just like evil people have. No, all of us have a dark side. Right? And the real issue is what we do with it. But, so why? What's the, what's the payoff for having a dark side? But if you think about it, you know, all these feelings that come up in the dark side, like revenge and, you know, criminal behavior and lust and all that, you notice pretty quick that these, there's a lot of energy attached to the dark side, something that you don't really find in a, in a life of healthy mindedness and good order. Right? And just watch any Hollywood movie. As soon as they uh, show people at a party being intoxicated or the drug addicts doing stuff, just listen to the music. Everything perks up and people get more animated and, and they start talking louder. Right? There's a, and it's this energy that's attached to it that makes the dark side it's kind of an important part of who we are as human beings. Anyway, uh, that's this uh, episode. We'll be back uh, next time with another episode on the dark side.